Hello, all greetings. This is Gilles Mancier. I wanted to come and say hello. Wish you a wonderful day. I'm going to pull out a few cards uh, to see what guidance we may get in this. Uh, we're coming closer to this uh, this new moon in Libra. So the past, present, and future for us is the past is the Shakti. We have learned so much. We have grown so much. We understand the tree spirit. Now we are moving into the living goddess, which is the manifestation and realization of all our dreams and desires. And what is coming up for us in the near future is the burning bush, the enlightenment, the, the revelation. And so it is all part of the process. We are meant to work with the, on the lady of pearl, the white lady, the, the white lady, the the mother of pearl and in essence it's understanding that it is the imperfection that makes the pearl so all of our imperfections are part of what creates the beauty of ourself but it is also a sign not to get gloomy and, and melancholic and nostalgic so it is important to to let go of all ideas of, of, of nostalgia and melancholy and and what we'll come to discover is the threefold riddle it means that certain things cannot be um, there is inner triggers that makes it impossible to resolve certain equations, to resolve certain understanding. And so it is about dropping the ideas of a needing to resolve anything. Uh, once we, we do that, we, we will we'll learn to... to um, what we'll be working on will be the last laugh, the future, the ability to look at things with humor, with detachment. And from there, we'll move into the guardians, which will be a mystic transformation, a mystic experience that will transform us in really deeply. Well, I hope this message was interesting, um, was meaningful for you, that it resonated. I wanted to speak about the train of ascension. I talk about that. It is a first class, uh, first class train. There is no, uh, everybody's on the first class. And the only thing you need to do is to sit on the train and trust that you will go. Uh, there is there is people that will come to control you, uh, not to control you, but they will to remind you if you have taken too much luggage. Because if it's not comfortable in this train, it's because we have still luggage that we're carrying with us. And then there will be angels that will be passing, say, well, do you want me to remove this or that? Say, no, I need that. Uh, well, you don't know where you're going. You won't need that, I assure you. You can let go of that. You will be, there will be something else when you're in the next stop that will fulfill whatever you, you need. And so, uh, so it is important to understand that. And when you, we don't know, we, we, we surrender it to God, like Spinoza. There is no need to, it's much better to work from certainty than from, uh, from doubt. Sometimes we don't know, we need to leap. But uh, in many sense, we can also ask for guidance and receive the guidance and then act uh, to follow that guidance. I wanted to, to feel also the, to understand, um, to, to understand, to, to, um, to to reveal to 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 express express something that yeah, this is my thought my idea is that God is the Lord of Truth there is the King of King he possess all he is all he controls all is 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 infinite love and finite wisdom and infinite power and so but as a child of God for all we all are child children of God all beings and all things come from God we we have to recognize ourselves as royalty doesn't matter if like uh, every human being is uh, whether it is somebody who sleeps in the streets or live in a, in, in a castle. It doesn't matter. We're all children of God. And as children of God, we deserve to reconnect to that, 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 that kingdom of God so that we can recognize ourselves as royalty and achieve sovereignty within that kingdom. Uh, so it is about uh, giving permission to our soul to upgrade our life also. Huh? Um, and, and, and the more we underst understand that, the more we recognize God, the more God recognizes us. This is the only way for God to recognize us is for us to recognize God, who's, who's an invisible presence, but we have guides and angels that can help us, assist us in seeing those things. So we need to ask in order to receive. also wanted to break um, just an idea. Is to, uh, can you imagine a world where publicity, where without publicity, and, uh, when we buy a magazine, uh, publicity, uh, we choose to buy this magazine, and the publicity inside uh, increase the quality of the, of the magazine. But um, in, on the internet or television or or, um, or radio, uh, we are bombarded with energies of people wanting to sell things that we do not need. And on galactic world, publicity is forbidden. It's completely against the law because everybody's got everything. When you need something, you ask and people fulfill, give you or lead you to wherever you need to get, whatever you need to get. But you are not bombarded with energy in order to be forced to buy something. And so there is this whole uh, programmation of this uh, this kind of uh, Sauron energy, uh, Lord of the Ring, uh, that will control the world 
world or those dark uh, shadow deep state uh, multinational corporation that have taken control over the internet and but but so we want to be free of that it's just an envisionment of, of the idea that for, of course we will we'll adapt and everything will work out in time and so we have to to be patient and, and kind and uh, uh, and adapt to whatever is there before us but uh, but understand that to to envision a world that will be free of publicity would be uh, would be very peaceful would be very uh, much more um Posed. And so we, we may in the future come across uh, many new understandings that will force us to make new laws that will, uh, um, that will guarantee the, the, the well-being of, 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 of everyone. Whether well, it's just one idea, there's many, many others, of course. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to... It's very delicate to speak about society, all those things of societies, because people have very different kind of conditioning and, and, and uh, beliefs about those things. And so when you bring too much truth, it can, bl it can be blinding and people do not see. And then they, they, they lose completely uh, the, the sense of who they are in relationship to all those things. And so, so we have to, to... When we speak of those things, uh, we have to wear gloves, we have to be kind and, and, and be, to move step by step in many sense. Um, the painting behind me is like that. It's uh, something is moving step by step. So I've been working for, on it for, for many years. There's many, many symbols in it. Uh, uh, this wall just break, broke free. Of course, there is like uh, the three, uh, here there is the three, uh, the three graces, uh, Aglaé. Tali and Euphrosim, those are the three glaces, and the muse are not here, but there's a little cat. There's this, here there's this, this blonde girl that's been appearing in my painting since 2015. It's like I don't know her, but I know it's somebody I'm going to meet that's going to have a profound impact on my life. And, and now when I start a painting, I almost like start with a little blonde girl sitting in the corner that I do my painting, so I'm sure I'm not going to forget her. So she's like, she's there, she's playing with this uh, this little thing here. It was an oil lamp at the beginning, it looks like a little animal. Here there's like, it's like a tapestry, but it's also like a baby foot. And uh, there, there is this soul, is the stage of life that is just a stage and it's like pieces are moving on it. That's controlled by this infinite here. On the wall there is the I am, it says I am here with the symbol of infinity and then there is the the, the DNA with the master universe here, that's a symbol of the Maltese cross that represents the, ma the master universe. And here there's the hexagram number 13 of the I Ching, which is the community with men. And above it there is the, the, green, uh, the green moon of the Islam and the, the light behind it, which represents uh, God, uh, that touching the, the top of the DNA. And here there's the seal of Solomon. Uh, there is all kinds of symbols. There is the sun, there is Chiron, uh, Apollon, Zeus, uh, that are sitting on love and anomia. Yeah, there is the uh, amor. Uh, the, there is all kinds of symbol and energies of this painting. It's not quite finished. There is a lot of dynamism and forces. Eventually, they have to all blend together to be harmonized. So, in many sense, painting is is a good uh, is a good teacher because it, it teaches us so much. I'm going to try to sing a song, I, I kind of missed out, but I didn't really do too well in the French version. It's a new song, I'm trying to sing it. It's about the story of a, of a painter that's like, uh, who's having a really hard life, and, but he loves his life anyway, and it goes like this. Je vous parle d'un temps que les moins de 20 ans ne peuvent pas connaître Montmartre en ce temps-là Accroché ces lilas jusque sous nos fenêtres Et si l'humble garni qui nous servait de lit ne payait pas de mine C'est là qu'on s'est connu Moi qui criais famine et toi qui posais nu La bohème, la bohème Ça voulait dire on est heureux La bohème La bohème, nous ne mangions qu'un jour sur deux. Dans les cafés voisins, nous étions quelques-uns qui attendions la gloire. Et bien que miséreux, avec le ventre creux, nous ne cessions d'y croire et qu'en quelques bistrots, comme un contre un bon repas chaud, nous prenions une toile. Nous récitions des vers groupés autour du poil en attendant l'hiver. La bohème, la bohème, ça voulait dire tu es jolie. La bohème, la bohème, 
et nous avions tous du génie. Parfois il m'arrivait devant mon chevalet de passer des nuits blanches, retouchant le dessin de la ligne d'un sein, du galbe d'une hanche, et ce n'est qu'au matin l'on s'essayait enfin devant un café crème. Épuisé mais ravi, fallait bien que l'on s'aime et que l'on aime la vie. La bohème, la bohème, ça voulait dire on a vingt ans. La bohème, la bohème, et nous vivions de l'air du temps. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna have to rehearse it because I'm not doing it really well. So I, I didn't even do it all the way. But anyway, I hope you forgive me for this. Uh, for for trying something that may was maybe beyond my reach. For some time, we have to try things. Uh, hopefully, uh, as we do, we practice, and as we practice, we get better. And so I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for everything, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.